Hello, everybody. Welcome to Burning. You know, yeah. Let me, let me just cut to it. Let me just cut to it. I'm gonna give you my rant of the top ten worst shows on Nickelodeon of 2013. Let's go ahead and start it off. Let's not cut corners with everything. Number ten, Fairly Odd Parents. Yes, our once beloved Timmy, Wanda, and Cosmo have now been brutally butchered by Butch Hartman. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. At first, when it went bad, we had Poof, a completely useless baby that hardly talks, so FOP was still somewhat watchable, just really repetitive. Then in 2013, the oh-so-great year for TV shows, we were introduced to a hyperactive, talkative dog named Sparky. FOP has really gone downhill, especially when their movie came out back in 2011. Then, a nor then another horrible movie, and what's that you say? Number three? Another freaking movie, yes! There's going to be another movie. Yeah, great, great. But uh, FOP definitely isn't the worst. Number nine, Victorious. Victorious. Honestly, the show wasn't that bad when it came out first in 2010, but then we uh, started in 2012, and then it was terrible, and it turned into a love relationship drama show. The fans incredibly declined down to a whopping 65%, and it would have nothing to show for it. I truly hated the show by the end of 2013. And on uh, February 2nd, 2013, the show had its final episode. It was god-awful. It was so bad, I cringed. It ended with Jay, Trina, and Tori dressed up like cheese. So, bye-bye uh, to that terrible show. You won't be missed. FYI, that high-voiced redhead has another show I'll get into. Number 8. Sam and Cat. What do you get when you mix a bully blonde with an annoying redhead moron? Sam and Cat. Yay! We couldn't come up with any more original ideas, so let's put their names in the title. No other show has done that before. The show is, is pretty bad. The jokes are way too out of line and awkwardly placed. We have typical bad Schneider material, like reusing a joke from the beginning of the episode to be funny, or involving Canada in a sentence. Need I remind that Schneider was the mastermind behind Drake and Josh, possibly the best show in Nickelodeon history? Behind a few others, of course. But Sam and Cat is pretty lackluster, bland, and just plain out boring. You know what you're getting yourself into. Number 7. 2013 Kids' Choice Award Awards. Yes, this was counted as a show. Everything about this was just terrible. You had unfunny jokes predictable sliming, unnecessary hype, a terrible host, and the overtop rigged votes. They have all been terrible and unfunny, boring too. The 2014 Kids' Choice Awards are almost upon us. Uh, prepare for the cringing. Number 6, Sanjay and Craig. A very disgusting, vile, and gross show that was completely overhyped for a month, and now is one of Nick's long forgot shows. They still have new episodes, though. It's just no one gives a crap. These people, uh, these types of shows are produced by lazy, inducing, a vulgar setback of toilet humor and gross animation. I saw one episode where Sanjay said, That's not a potato, that's my poop. Why is that funny? How, in any point of just complimental perspective, is that funny? Any grins, really? Any laugh? Jesus, Nickelodeon is such a downslope. Number five, The Thundermans. This show is so unfunny. It was way over-promoted, had no character development, it had a talking animal, very original, boring superhero powers, and a blatant rip-off of so many superhero shows. Crappy cast that does not fit well together, and they are not funny at all. I seriously have never laughed, grinned, or even cracked a smile at how bad it is. Okay. And it, it's so bad that all you can do is think about how Nick is terrible, not to mention their horrible memes for this promotion. I saw that on channels like TBS, Comedy Central, and even ESPN awful 
awful, awful show. Okay, we're like in the final four. Uh, I guess fail four way of this. Number one, Rabbit's Invasion. What is this? Seriously, what is this show? I am so creeped out by this show. Plus, it is insanely repetitive to the point you want to claw your eyes out. No plot at all, just hundreds of white retarded rabbits running around like a bunch of idiots. There's no sequence at all to the most of even talking about this show, seriously. It's based off a stupid video game. This show was renewed. Kill me. Marvin, number three, Marvin, Marvin. This, this show has no words to describe how hilarious it was. I laughed so many times, and it brought great laughter and joy to my family and me. Truly comedy gold. You want to know why it's comedy gold? Because it is so freaking terrible, and it's hysterical. I hate the show with a dying passion. We have this sellout Fred. We already had an awesome show, Fred, the show, and as oh so talented movie series, who recently came out as a gay, no surprise there. I guess Marvin Marvel lights it all in the stink. Anyway, the show is a snooze fest. I absolutely hate the little kid more than I hate Marvin Marvin. They had a crappy crossover episode with that Nickelodeon corporate boy band, Big Time Rush. I mentioned that uh, a while ago in a live-action lackluster which is Big Time Rush, a really horrible band and show. And that was the beautiful ending of a horrible chapter in Nickelodeon, only to reopen by even crappier chapters that I will be getting into. <sighs> okay, we're in the final two. Any guess? Any guess, anybody? You? 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 Uh, okay, no, that's just a pillow. Number two, Awesomeness TV. This show right here. This takes the cake of terrible comedy, forced laugh tracks. I mean, that is forced straight up your butthole. Try hard humor and the worst host who ever host anything. You may know her as that horrible actress from Victorious, Daniela Monet. The show is an absolute snooze fest. I'm, I'm sorry, I've used snooze fest so many times. There's just so many boring shows. The actors are not funny. It was promoted to high heaven with a song called Grandma's Crib, viciously beats a dead horse with a pipe to let out frustration. I hate this show. And the funny thing is, it used to be what it said it was. Awesome. The skits before this travesty were hilarious and worth the watch. You didn't need a laugh track every three seconds to laugh, but of course, our lord and savior Nickelodeon had to copy other channels, make a great YouTube channel, sell out, and ruin themselves completely. Here it is. Number numero... Uno, one. The worst show of 2013. It's actually two shows equally awful this year. So bad, so terrible, so cringeful, and oh so annoying. Here it is, the two equally worst shows of 2013. SpongeBob SquarePants and Nick Studio 10. Let's start with Spongebob first. My main problem with Spongebob 2013 is that there are only eight episodes in this whole year, and they all suck badly. They were boring, recycled, predictable, and absolutely forgettable. Hillenburg needs to return ASAP. They sucked all the life out of the show and made it so bland and boring. Honestly, I would rather watch an episode of Awesomeness TV than watch Face Freeze. Sad. Just so sad, isn't it? Man, okay, here comes the equally, the uh, second equal of Spongebob, Nick Studio 10. Here we go. This isn't even a show, it's an interruption, and a huge waste of time, not like Nick even had any time to use. What can I say that already hasn't been said? Animal abuse, bad writing, uh, improv, terrible jokes, and horrible casting. Then we have, uh, Fart in a Jar. This, uh, this song was a parody of Dick in a Box by SNL. Very appropriate, Nick. TBY7, uh, yeah, sure, sure, I'm pretty sure it's TBY7. 
I hate this block so much. Then you have to watch Noah and Gabby smile and say what Nick's want them to do, like puppets. That's all they are. Puppets. Thank you for watching my top 10 worst TV shows of 2013. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.